in this video we're going to put some groundwork or the foundation of our uh, YouTube timestamp tool so we're going to put in just some basics in there we have the layout on it as you can see here and that's what we're going to work on now all right so let's start to look what we need so first of all we have here our blank tool or page basically and we're going to use normally I tend to use my own website charges3.com for this example I'm going to use a basic design that we're going to use uh, bootstrap and bootstrap has their latest version right now version 5.2 so once you're on bootstrap just go here or let's go and just go to the documentation and get the boiler template here uh, let's see I think it's that one here now it should be fine bootstrap and the JavaScript of bootstrap click here we copy this all I'll paste that in there and then I will cut out this title here put it in there all right so I'm going to remove this here and start working on our design so how will our design look like well basically we will have two parts the upper part will consist of inserting the data and the lower part maybe the lower grid or block will be consisting of uh, showing the time stamp items so this will be very interesting so and very useful because I'm creating this system for myself because I want to start to find the chapters for my videos. So making a tool helps me to be faster. So what I'm going to do now is we have this here. Well, let's start to work on very simple stuff. First of all, let's go here and I'm going to grab one of these uh, uh, columns, I guess. And I really like this search here. Beautiful and very useful. So we have these columns here and this is the container and the container is very useful before I remove the container but I realize, realize that don't remove the contain container because if you have a large screen if you remove the container it will not be in proportion so this is very important but you only notice if you have a large screen anyway doesn't matter I'm going to paste all of this in here and then what I'm going to do here is a div and I'm going to remove this item here all right, so then we have here only one column here, and that's more than enough. What I want to do here for this column, I want to give this a color. I'm going to say here BG, and then I'm going to say uh, secondary. So it's like a nice dark color. For the body, I'm going to give it a default class, and I'll make it black. I just want a dark. Uh, BG dark. So if I save that, go back here, refresh. There we are. You can see this still here. It should be a bit more down. So I'm going to say here uh let's say here we're going to give it a margin margin y and then we're going to say here five so we have uh, like maybe 40 pixels of space that's more than enough next what i want to do is i have this let's give it a bit of a padding so i'm going to say here i do a padding a y three pixels save that there we are that looks absolutely stunning or at least quite acceptable so what I'm going to do here now is we're going to put in uh, a few items. We have the input, one is the title input or the timestamp title, and we have the seconds. Basically, I want to show you this is what I really want. If I'm going to put that in here as a sample, I'm going to put it like that. And then what I'm going to say, basically, eventually here, it should be 00, zero colon 00, zero colon 00. Zero. That is the requirement. Or you can do it without the hours if your video is below one hour. So that's very important to remember. And then here, let's say introduction, for example, something like that. Save that, refresh. It should be like this, and then maybe here, I think this should be, uh, instead of secondary, this could be a lighter color. All right, just skip that. And then what we could say here, I'm going to say here paragraph, and I'll make this bold. So say class, font weight bold. And then we're going to say here, this is the time stamp save refresh all right so there we are that's basically how we can do that so or this is basically what we want so what i want to do here then is we're going to put input let's say how many inputs we need we need three or four inputs in total so i'm going to say input as a type here will be text and this text will be i'll just call it the time stamp oh sorry id i'm going to give it an id time stamp or title timestamp title timestamp and there we are next we can go for the break so it's 
independent and this should be maybe a class I'll just make this a simple class I will not spend much time on design so I will just go through it and you can find it with bootstrap very easily so I think there's no real need for me to explain it too much unless there's demand for it but here I'm going to say here a uh, form control save refresh all right so that's it what I want to do here just to make sure a small paragraph and here we'll say because this is very important the time stamp title it is recommended or that's a be best practice 50 characters everything more than 50 it will be basically uh, uh, hidden so or it will be on uh, on the text wrap it will be on the next next line which is not really practical for a YouTube video chapter so what I'm going to say here uh, total characters total char I'll just say total char and then I'm going to put in this and I'll say here 0 slash 50 and what I want to do eventually and maybe here we can say here class bold so class font weight bold save refresh all right like that and then probably here text light save refresh there we are and what I want to do later on we're going to make this a span independent because this one should be later on dynamic and we want to change the color of this so if we have too many characters we just will have a nice color then so say here uh, like this for now just give it an ID and I'll give the ID of char and this may be a characters all right that is quite decent input and I'm going to put in three and then here I'm going to use numbers you might say why are we not going to use the time input well the time input requires the hours minutes and seconds which is fine but I prefer not I like to have it like independent and then later on we can do with JavaScript we can uh, mold, modify it or mold the data into our design so I'm going to say here numbers or number number and number and what I can say here as well minimum would be zero here for the minutes and hours we will say minimum will be we have a minimum and a maximum of course 60 seconds or 60 minutes and 60 seconds all right and then here this should be i'll call it hours in plural because it could be multiple hours and then here we have minutes and here seconds all right you got that once we save this refresh we get three of those but we get all of this and i don't want this so I'm going to make this very very simple I'm going to say here with this is a with class so I'm going to create a own class for this so this is up to you if you want the design of that or not but as you can see I want to control the width here and just say 75 pixels so that's why I'm doing that so I'm going to say here style there we are and then I'm going to say here width and the width will be uh, like that and we're going to say here width this may be quite confusing term this should be class width by the way with and it's 75 pixels that's acceptable you can make it anything you want save that refresh there we are so now they're a bit consistent and then maybe text I like that moving to the right side so it's a text uh, right but text right means text and in bootstrap uh, 5 all right so we have that save refresh so now if I click on it you can see it will be automatically to the end beautiful so now we have this uh, this part basically done what I would like to do and that will be the next video we're going to focus on structuring the time step